What's up guys? So today it's going to be a more review based video than more of an informational based video. Uh, today's more about beard oil also. So today's beard oil I have is Fable Beard Company. I have their berry smell. I have Fresh Beard's Black Light smell and I have Whiskey and Can Lace the Outlaw. Uh, those are the three that I have right now and I've used them quite regularly. So the first one being Fable Beard Company. This one's called The Teacher. It is a berry smell. So when I first got this in, uh, when I opened the mailbox, I could actually smell the berries from the outside of the package, which really astounded me because I haven't smelled one that strong. When you open it up and actually open the bottle, it's not super strong to where it's going to overpower anything, but it smells really good. Uh, I also ordered the, uh, they had a Christmas one that was a gingerbread that smells really good too. Uh, with this company, I've actually dealt with their customer service and it is phenomenal. Uh, he will take care of you no matter what. I don't have uh, any problems with them at all. Uh, this one has one, two, three, four, five, six carrier oils in it. It has coconut oil, castor oil, jojoba oil, argan oil, sweet almond oil, and fragrance oils. Uh, it smells amazing. I use this as my second bottle of this i still have two more bottles out of the gingerbread uh that smell amazing the and i'm actually almost out of this one and it's clear it's not tinted any color uh the consistency is your normal oil based uh consistency on to the next one is fresh beards i recently got this one when i ordered the beard butter this smell on the black light is amazing i love it to death i uh one of my favorite ones that i've ever uh, received. Uh, this one has Shea Olin, Golden Jehova Oil, Coconut Oil, and Fragrance Oils in it. So not as many carrier oils as the Fable Beard Company, but still a great, great beard oil. Uh, I haven't dealt with their customer service or anything, but I'm imagining that they're going to be just as good as any of them. Uh, and the last one is Whiskey Ink and Lace. This is a company that... Uh, one of my first ones that I ordered this round of uh, Beard Growth and I ordered their sample pack and it comes with six different smells and that's the one that I went with because it smelled the best to me so uh, those are some of the beard oils I use. I also make my own every now and then. Um, I usually use, do unscented on those just because I have so many different smells in like Beard Butters and Beard Balms and mustache wax that I don't want it to interfere with anything. So I usually make my own that's unscented, which I have three different carrier oils. I have argan oil, I have hemp oil, and I have Jehova oil. So I, that's how I usually do those. When it comes to actually picking a good beard oil, you need to make sure that it has some good carrier oils and nothing that's super diluted. If you can't pull it up online, then you don't need to order it. These are some of the best companies I've ever dealt with. I have no complaints about them. And there's probably going to be more that I run upon that I'll end up liking too. Uh, as far as Fable Beard Company, I actually have an order of them coming in. Not Here in this next week, it should come in. And I'll do a big video on them because I ordered like three or four different things from them. So um, as far as that goes, just pick a good company. Any of these or... Live Bearded is a good one. Um, that's the only other one I can think of off the top of my head that I've actually ordered. So I don't want to give false advice on good companies if I've never used them. As far as my uh, that goes, just pick a good one. Um, and I use these every day, every single day. Uh, my daily beard care routine, first thing in the morning, I always start by brushing it out. Um, but if I Usually I shower in the morning, so I will shower and then I'll actually blow dry my beard and brush it at the same time. And it usually gives it a really good look. If I don't and I straighten it, it doesn't look bad, but it looks really thin at that point. So after that, I'll usually do oil, uh, a little bit of oil because I usually mix in a little bit of beard butter too during the day. Um, I put beard oil in my hand, rub it in there real light, put it in my hair, skin, wherever. And then I'll put a little bit of beard butter in my hand and do the same exact thing. Uh, and then after that, I'll brush it through and then I'll mustache, uh, on my mustache, I'll put wax in it just to keep it out of my mouth. Cause like right now I did it this morning, but I've also ate since this morning and it's starting to fall again. So it needs to be brushed and waxed again. 
after all that, I usually let it rest for a minute and then I'll come back and let it and then brush it again just to uh, get it to kind of even out. I'll use a light brush, a light bore brush instead of the heavy one. I have two different bore brushes. I have a really hard one and a really soft one. So I usually hit it with the hard one first and then go back with the soft one. And then after that, I just maintain it the rest of the day. Right now it kind of looks a um, little flyways right here. I need to go get a beard trim and it's really hard to find a good one. So that's what I'm working on right now. But once I get that Fable Beard Oil Company uh, products in, I'll do a review on those. I also just received the new Scotch and Porter beard conditioner, which I'll be trying out here pretty soon. I've been using their old one uh, when I made that last video about them. I didn't realize that was the old one, so my mistake on that one. But the old one is phenomenal. I can't wait to try the new one out. So I will keep you all updated on that, and thank you all for being patient with me.